Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Let's get the show on the road here. Get my microphone on. All right, let's get going here, guys. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, if you are just new to the channel, uh, my name is Hoon. My channel is all about making better coffee at home. So this morning is going to be another uh, fun episode. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six different scales here. So we are going to compare. So this is not a product review. Uh, this is more like comparison video. So now, you know what? Let's give you guys a closer look. Closer look what we're going to do this morning. So I have start with Akaya scale. And I have, it's called scale. Okay. It's called scale. Uh, so this is another, it's, again, the name of scale is scale. Okay. And then we have a uh, black mirror. And then we have uh, three scares from uh, Amazon. So this is more like Amazon scare as well. Okay, it's all different. So what I'm going to do is this morning, you know what, let's do something comparison. Okay. I mean, it's not about which scare is the best. It's nothing to do with that. So this morning, I'm going to show you the comparison. What's the difference? I'm going to talk about the what's good. What's good about the scale and what's bad about the scale? So we can just compare side by side. So at least you guys can see. If you are planning on buying a new scale, I think definitely you guys want to stay tuned to this. Okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's get going here. So with so this is Akaya scale. It's called Luna scale. And uh, we're going to talk about it. Uh, it's called scale. So this is more like, oh goodness, this is really... So we have two different types of scale. We got the espresso scale and pour over scale. And then I think I'm going to now uh, differentiate which scale is the better suitable uh, different type of method. Okay, so obviously this one is good for pour over. And then I think I consider timer scale, the black mirror, as a pro over scale as well, okay, and then we have scale, also good for pro over, okay. So we have these three too. Uh, three are good for pro over, and I'm just gonna move the box to the side, and then Akaya scale. I think this one consider good for espresso. G dealer espresso. And we have a small scale from Amazon as well as Confusion scale. Also, this is also good for espresso. Okay. So now I have the our. I think I'm gonna use a Brista Express as our demo this morning. So let's uh, talk about the fit. Okay. Uh, let's start start with uh, uh, how well fit into your machine. So let's start with Akaya. I mean fits fine. We've got plenty of space between. And then definitely okay. And if you're gonna do latte, I have the small latte cup as well. I mean fits just fine. Okay, it comes to fitment. It, it, it does not overhang either. I mean fits wonderful. Okay. So let's start with, so we, the Akai is perfect. This is another scale from Amazon. It's called Fusion Scale. Again, plenty of space between. That's okay as well. It doesn't overhang either. Good. Obviously, G Dealer Scale, it's going to be fine as well. It does overhang. Even large cup fits perfect okay so it comes to the fit into your coffee machine these three works great 
but I know some of you out there wants to use, I know a timer, okay, as your scale. I mean, it does fit, but, I mean, it does fit just fine, but you know what? The seems are overhanging like this. Let me show you guys. I mean, it does, it does work, okay, but if you guys want to use as timer as your espresso, I don't know, I mean, some are bulky as well. It's all dependent on what kind of machine you have. If you have like Brista Express, I mean, timer should be fine. But I think this is more made for more like pour over, but if you guys want to use as espresso, that's okay. So let's talk about the other scale. It's called scale. Let's start the machine. I mean, all of them fit, okay? Again, it's a little overhang, but it does work. And let's see here. Yep, there we go. So it does all work. And then so last but least, for this one here, it's way overhanging, but I know some of you out there put to the side and use it. But we have enough clients. So you could, you could use that as your espresso. But, okay, here's a big but. So we have all the scares here. I'm just gonna calibrate this. I'm just gonna put it at zero. Okay, so let's talk about the accuracy. Okay, hold on a second. Let's do the, all the accuracy on my scales here. Okay, here we go. I know this we have too many. By the way, someone asked me, how come you have so many scale? So this is what happens when coffees become your hobby. Okay. Jane made a good point. Um, an important issue of using scales on your drip tray is it's an uneven surface. Yeah. This can impact the accuracy. Okay. And uh, yes, uh, they mentioned about uh, because again, this is not even. Okay. That's why you, you, you need to be really, you know, just right the angle as well. That's why I like, like, a Kaya scale that fits perfect, okay? So it doesn't have any kind of movement. All right, so let's talk about the accuracy of all these scales here, okay? So I have this, the weight, uh, this weighted uh, Akaya scale. So this is a calibrated, uh, calibrated weight from Akaya. So this is 100 gram, okay? So let's start seeing the accuracy. I know for a fact this is 100 gram. So that's 100 gram. Again, did you see that the how fast the reaction time? Pretty fast. And that this is G dealer. Super fast. So 100 gram, 0 0.05, 0 0.09 grams. So yeah, so I know this is a not. You could calibrate this but not with the 100 gram. I think they require like two or 300 gram of uh, weight, so. But again, one. Uh, pretty accurate. So this one is a fusion scale. Look at the response time as well. Pretty fast. 99.8 gram. I know it's not accurate, but still, Point oh point one gram. It's not too bad, guys. Okay, I'm not gonna be too worried about not being 100%. But again, look at the response time, pretty fast. So all this scales is really responsive. Okay. Okay. Let's go from. Let's take a look at Black Mirror. Let's look at the response time. Okay, 100.1 gram, it's not too bad. Again, you see that slight delay there? 
it's not like Akaya. Pretty fast. Slightly delay. Yep, there we go. Slight delay. Again. So let's look at the, our other skill from Amazon. Can I add okay, again, this one has a slight delay as well. I know we are talking about nitpicking about the split seconds here, but um, so again, this scale, yep, hit and miss. Okay, and then we go to the scale. Mike says that little bit of delay is not an issue for coffee making. Okay, so again, pretty fast. I know some of you think well, why you worry about that this tiny bit of the delay. It's not a big deal, but I, I guess it's kind of like personal, uh, I mean, I, I, I do like the instant feel to it. For some reason that bothers me, okay, the slight delay, I don't know why, but yeah, it does a little bit, but yeah, again, okay. it's not too bad, okay, that's pretty, pretty fast. I mean, as you can see, all these scales, I mean, we are talking about plus minus like, you know, 0 .001, 0 0.01 gram off. So, I mean, they're all accurate here. Yeah, pretty much it. Yep, I mean, that's, I think I consider, yep, that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. I know this is a slightly off there. Sl uh, that's fine too. So, I mean, all these scales, uh, I mean, personally, it, that works just fine. I mean, if you guys are looking for just scale to like measure your shots, you know, just weight and works. I mean, all of this works great. Okay. But so let's talk about the different feature on these scales. It comes to price wise. Obviously, Amazon scale we have here less than 20 bucks, $12. Okay, so this is around like 13, 14 bucks. This is like $15, okay. So obviously Black Mirror uh, price. So they have two models, okay. So th this is, uh, it's called Auto Star. Uh, so whenever you detect the drip, uh, start automatically times, times for you to, this is about like $65 plus tax. And you have another model out there, I mean, as of today, uh, they have a 10% off, so that's about 65. So I think 10% off, so ended up getting for around like $61. Okay, works good. This is a scale, it comes to the price range, it's just done, it's about 89 bucks or so 89 bucks, just under $100 here. But this, I know it doesn't look much. So this one you can integrate with a decent espresso machine, okay. So integrate with that coffee machine. So, I mean, personally, I don't buy this as my daily use unless we have a decent espresso machine that use this. So, but Akaya scale, they set the bar really, really high, okay? Not cheap, but really, really high. So it's about $250. For mo but again, with the Akaya scale, it does a lot. Okay, I know you guys saw me on my channel, uh, auto stop, I mean auto tear with, you know, automatic start time, whenever detect uh, first drift. But, I mean, all these scales has a pros and cons. And this scale right here, it does really good job, okay? This, and my kitchen timer does the same job as Akaya scale or timer scale, okay? It does the same kind of job. So it's all depend on, obviously you have to have budget and which one is more convenient. Obviously, I prefer Akaya scale for my espresso, really, 
I mean, this is really easy to use. So I dropped about three times already. Very sturdy, uh, water resistant. Same as uh, Black Mirror, water resistant as well. So this is a USB-C charging. Uh, Akaya scale micro, uh, micro USB charging. So they are both rechargeable. By the way, last forever, okay? I mean, I charged this one about a month ago. I mean, still works just fine. And then uh, all these four scares on the bottom here, they're all uh, triple A batteries, okay? Obviously, you know, it's not rechargeable, but lasts a pretty long time as well. It's not a water resistant, okay? Do not drop any kind of water here uh, because I got some stain on it already. Same as this one too. It's not water resistant. So this one, not too bad, okay? Has, has a rubber piece on. Again, you, you don't want to drop water here or even coffee. You're going to stain it. But, but uh, G dealer and fusion scale, it does, not it does not have timer. So you have to, but it does read pretty accurate weight. This one does not have timer, but however, you can connect it to your phone, okay? And then have an app for that as well. But I've been playing with the app where the scale, uh, the app is not as intuitive, okay? I wish they uh, spent some time on the app, but still, it works. But again, so this scale, if you have a decent express machine, you might want to consider this, but other than that, I mean, that's something you have to think about it. Okay. So if you ask me, Hun, which one you buy, okay, if you have a pour over, okay, if my main method of uh, coffee making is pour over, so far right now, if you are in budget, if you don't want to spend too much money, I go with this one, okay? And if you don't mind spending a little extra, so this is only about 15 bucks, okay? If you have a limited budget, go with that. I mean, if you don't care, I mean, if you have uh, enough budget, the black mirror, it's not bad, okay? This, this is pretty promising. I mean, you can actually, you know, you're gonna have some fun with the pour over as well. Hold on. I mean, imagine this is pour over method. I mean, just fits right. And you can, you know, you can automatically start the time or you can manually start the time. I mean, works pretty good. Okay. It does, it does the job pretty well. I mean, I like the size of it. They're smaller than per Akaya per and it's half the price. Obviously, we, you know, we have this beautiful Akaya scale here. Again, I mean, this is just, this is fun to work with. This is a treat. Akaya scale is one of my favorite there. And also, I mean, this scale is here, the smaller scale. I definitely like to use that for my espresso. Okay, it works really good. So, I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, leave, uh, let me know in the comment section. I mean, what do you guys prefer? Okay. I mean, look. Yeah, I mean, love to hear that from you as well. I mean, love to hear. I mean, what is it? Obviously, if money is not an issue, I mean, I go with Akaya. But if money is an issue, like most of us, I think I'm going to. St stick with this one but I do like the uh, rechargeable battery on this one the black mirror and auto star eh, I'm not a big you know it's okay all right have some yeah I'm not a big fan of auto start there N need some work on that but yeah other than that I mean water resistance works good bright screen the bright uh, screen as well I like that 
and it comes to like cheaper espresso scales one of these I mean works just fine can beat it for the price so yeah let me know what you guys think about the uh, our scales okay so Mike says in San Diego I think the Akai scales like the niche grinder is it really worth all that money uh, someone asked me uh, Mike asked me Oh, uh, so 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 Mike is making a statement. Okay. 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 So um, and someone also mentioned about uh, Akaya just came out with it's called Pixie. I think it's called Pixie. They are extremely small. Okay. I think the size of this. So this is small already. All about this size. So that one is a perfectly fit into even flare or even lapaboni works perfect. I mean this scale. I'm telling you, uh, I had it about a couple of years now that fits perfectly on my uh, smaller machine like Flare. If it fit on Flare, you can fit out anything else. So yeah, so this one works really good. Uh, comes with a good carrying case. Okay, so this is not bad. It's only about what, 15 bucks, 12 dollars. I think I'll put the link down below, all, I mean, all of them. Yeah. Okay, so let's see, we have some questions or comments. Says, we got Dane makes there some. is a tool by ONA called the stem where your scale sits on a bench and the stem sits on your scale and extends around to the brew position to put your cup on okay so FYI yeah so I know I think I think you can get some like aftermarket uh, tools for you know get a better measurement but yeah uh, so I think you answered, which scale would you buy again? And the, I, I know that comes to scale, it's all, all about your comfort level, all over your budget. I mean, just like, is Akaya scale worth the money? I'm, okay, here's the thing about, uh, is that worth the money, that, that question. If you own a cafe, it's worth the money, okay? If you, if you own a high-paced environment, yes. Uh, Akai is worth it because it's water resistant, it's accurate, very sturdy. You know, that's all metal. Okay, this is all metal. So, as you can see from there, I have some, you know, quite a few things on it. And I mean, you take abuse on this one. Okay, so this one lasts a long time, works really good. Uh, any other scares here, if you drop it, you know, most likely it's, it's going to damage. Okay. Even black mirror, this is a plastic. Okay. Uh, you know, it's high quality plastic, but still, nevertheless, it's plastic. I mean, if you're looking at it, you have no idea which one is up or down. Only the way by the is this uh, mark here, so that's the top. So, yeah, but other than that, looks sharp, looks really good. For $65, around $60. Uh, USB C charging, you know, I mean, that's fine, okay. I'm not that picky, but is that worth it? I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, if uh, Black Mirror is that something you guys want to buy, again, if on my main method of making coffee, uh, if you know something looks nice on your kitchen counter, Black Mirror can be a good option for you as well. Yeah. Okay, so it comes to time, the auto stop, yes. Uh, comes to whenever the dripping stop, the flow stop, the stop the timer. Okay. Okay. And it is remarkable the price difference in these scales. Okay, so it comes to, uh, I know someone ma mentioned about, someone mentioned a great point about the price difference, okay. 250 $15. So is that 20 times better than this one? So you have to ask yourself, is that kind of scale 20 times better than this G dealer scale? No, it's not 20 times better. Maybe a couple times better, maybe two times better, maybe three times, but yeah. It's not 20 times better. But it all depends on what you guys want. I mean, if you want something, you know, slick, something water resistant on your coffee bar as your setup, your decoration, 
maybe if you have the money, definitely. But I mean, most people like us, I mean, you know, you are start getting into espresso as your hobby. I mean, this is perfectly fine, guys. Okay. It's perfectly fine. Uh, comes to pour over method, this budget uh, scale, perfectly fine as well. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this one. Is a black mirror, is a worth $60? Is that, so is it, so 15 bucks versus what, 65? Is that like what, five times better? Maybe not, okay. But again, the looks nice, water resistant, slick. You know what, but it's, it's all depend on what you guys want, okay? I, I don't think, you know, I don't think there's such thing as perfect scale out there, but but if you're looking at the, if you're looking for functional functionality, if you have a unlimited budget, go with the Akaya, okay? Go with the Akaya. But if you are really conscious about, you know, how much money you're gonna spend on coffee, you know, coffee scale or whatever, just go with a cheaper option. How much is the time or scale? Time or scale again? I mean, it's about sixty-five dollars on Amazon. I, I just picked it up the uh, the other day. And then, so I, I got the upgrade model, has a time, uh, auto time, uh, auto start on it. Just simply, you just press about, let me show you guys, like five times. And you say A on it, which means it's auto start. If you're gonna go back to regular mode, again, you gotta shut it off. So it's a little knowing, but is that works good? Uh, I try a few times. I mean, you have to get used to the functionality, but you know what? I don't mind start, stop manually, so. Um, okay, Dane let's see. asks a coffee with Lofty. At Hoon, what do you think of buying secondhand scales like a Kaya Pearl? I can't justify full price, but considering a secondhand for around 90 US dollar. Okay, so uh, coffee, coffee with a Lofty uh, ask me about, what do you think about buying a used scale? Okay, so, so just make sure find out who you are getting it from and just make sure check it, make sure is everything is accurate. Yes, I mean, I don't mind getting, you know, so you scare just fine because Akaya per, well, brand new is about 150 bucks. So if you can get one for around 75, half the price, a little less. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. I mean, if you can get one, it, it makes you good shape, yeah. I don't have any problem buying used ones, but make sure to check, uh, check it out first though. Bob asks, what is the Akaya scale made of? Akaya scale is, Bob asks us, is Akaya scale made of, you know, uh, more like stainless steel, not the steel, but it's metal, okay? That's all metal on the top, metal on the side. Yeah, so we're made, we're construct. Yep, that's as you can hear it, is a metal as well. Just we're made. Okay, kind of like Akaya scale, look at it as like Apple products. They're packaged well, they're designed well, yeah. I mean, if you, if you, you guys like Apple computers, you love Akaya scale. Um. Let's see, any other questions? Yes, Justin asked. We've got Justin has a question. Okay, Justin. Lydia Mini or Lillette Bianca? Uh, Lil, Lil, uh, Justin asked him about the Lydia Mini versus Lillette Bianca. I always thought about getting Lydia Mini, but, okay, but Lydia Mini is really good for someone planning on opening up a, a little coffee cart or coffee shop. But if you if if a coffee is your hobby, if you want to try uh, play with like flow control, you know, like different method, Lillet Bianca has all that. So I guess it all depends on what I want to do. But if I'm going to go with pick the machine, I think I think I might go with uh, Lillet. Okay, Lillet Bianca. About a couple thousand dollars cheaper. It's about three grand for the Bianca versus almost six grand for the uh, Lydia Mini. And uh, I believe both uh, plumbable. I believe uh, Dane. Uh, I think 
I think they're plumbable. Okay, I think there's both a uh, rotary pump as well. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I think I might go with the Bianca. For I mean, for my lifestyle. Have you tried the 21 gram comp basket for Breville? Someone, uh, someone asked me, have I tried 21 gram Bravo baskets? I never seen that. Hey, let me know, okay? I mean, if you have the link, uh, send me the link because I love to check it out. Because it comes to Bravo uh, uh, Brista or Brista Pro, we only have one option, 54, mil uh, 54 millimeter with just regular stock baskets. I know you can get it from, uh, you can get it aftermarket from AliExpress, but that's about it. That's about it. Hoon, can you show us features that come with the more expensive scales? Uh, comes to future for the more expensive scales. Okay, so I mean, I mean, Akaya scales are set the bar pretty high. Okay. So right now, obviously, this is the, just the the one feature on Akaya, just our manual. Okay, our manual there, something like that. Okay, so that's the one method. From here, we have the, you got the time on this section here, okay. We, we just, rate, everything is on manual. So this is good for like, you know, pull over. So this one here. Okay, so this is whenever you detect something, it's going to start the time. You see that? The next one, let me show you again. It's called auto tear mode. Automatically tears it. Come on. Hold on. Hold on a second, guys. So this one here, detected and tears automatically. So, so I mean, obviously this Akaya scares are a lot more feature. Okay, and I and the, I use the the auto start and auto tear. I use that for my whenever I'm making copy. So I mean they're really good uh, feature and function. But again, I mean all this scale, I think Akaya did right on comes to responsibility, uh, uh, very responsive and pretty fast. So I mean again, that's is that worth two hundred fifty dollars? Maybe, maybe not, okay? But it's all depend on your budget, but uh, comes to pour over method. I mean, Akaya Pur is about 150 bucks and they can go with a higher end model for $200. I mean, just simply you wanna start the time and you know, tail the weight. But if you're in the cafe setting, uh, definitely it might be worth it. Um, George says the um, AliExpress basket holds 21 grams. Yep, uh, uh, Georgia, actually, I do have the AliExpress baskets. Uh, it can hold 21 gram on, depend on the, what kind of roasting level, okay? If you medium roast, I can hold about 21 gram easily. But if you are using the darker roast, you are pushing it. More like, you know, 19 to 20 gram at the most. But yeah, it's all depend on the, your roasting level, but yeah. I mean, AliExpress filter baskets for $8, not bad at all. They're pretty good. Um, does the surface of your lunar scale have any scratches from dosing cups? Okay, so someone asked me about the, I don't, uh, I don't have a lot of scratch because I use, always use the rubber pad there. Okay, so it protects the, my cover. But I do have some little scratch, but it's not too bad, okay? I mean, so this is second hand. Uh, this one is sent by Sal from California. Uh, he sent me his old one. So if you're watching this, thanks so again, Sal. Anyway, so yeah, so this one, I always use the rubber pad there, so always protects it. It's fun to use, guys, okay? I mean, this is a treat, okay? Using a kayak scale is fun and, yeah, I mean, this is kind of like, you know, good for, gift items. I mean, if your loved ones are, you know, really into coffee, I mean, you know, it's so, sometimes it's hard to justify spending, tw you know, 250 bucks, but if you're someone that loves coffee, 
I mean, that's, you can surprise, you know, with that present. So definitely holiday gifts idea for sure. Um, you have a couple questions, but Mike says he's starting the install of his PID today and he can show you um, if you want to do Instagram live after, he oh. can show you that. Okay, so Mike is, uh, shout out to Mike. He's going to install PID on his uh, Gaza Classic. So yeah, I, I, I'm, uh, Mike, uh, we might do that, okay? Yeah. So Linda asks, so will the higher scales make pour over taste better? I guess it's in the accuracy of the pour. Okay, so Linda asked me, is a higher end scale make your coffee taste better? No, answer is no. It's not going to make any difference. Okay, it's going to be the, because, I mean, just, so, I mean, just a different look of it. They're both await your coffee and time. That's it. Okay. And it comes to uh, better tasting coffee is all about the quality of the coffee beans and the right grinder size. That's all. So, I mean, it's not going to make you taste any better, guys. Same as Akaya scale as well. Akaya scale versus this $10 scale. It's not going to make it taste any better. Yeah. Um, so a viewer asks, uh, any tips on doing latte art with almond milk? I can never get the texture right. Okay, someone asked me about, uh, can I uh, latte art with like plant-based milk, like even almond milk or oat milk? Make sure you get the Brista on it, okay? The Brista version. You cannot get the just regular almond milk. Expect get the right mixed texture. You're not gonna get that. So this is the Brista oat uh, from Calafe. The Brista version has the more fat in it, so you can actually do the better uh, milk there. So yeah, if you're doing the almond milk or oat milk or you know any kind of milk, make sure it has a Brista on it. Let's see what else. One more. I think we have one more question, and then after that, I'm gonna jump into Instagram, and then uh, Mike's going to show us uh, his uh, Gaza Classic, the PID setup. So, the installation. The Theater says, "Have you had a, a look into Steel Light cups? They're very nice, good for latte art." Okay, so Spectrum Theater. Uh -huh. uh, what's the cup name? Steel light. -E -E Steel light. You know, I have not heard. So I, I, I'm gonna definitely check it out. Okay, because so far I really like the not neutral Acme cups and uh, Rob Romix. Okay, those are the three of my favorite cups for latte art. And but yeah, I'm gonna definitely check it out for sure. Let's see. Are we are we good? Mm -hmm. I think we are good. Okay, so. Uh, by the way, if you guys are watching right now, I do have I, I do have a cooking channel now. Okay, so if you guys are bored with my channel, make sure check out my Hoon's Kitchen. I'm gonna put the link down below as well. So I've been, you know, I mean, cooking and coffee is my hobby of mine. So I've been making some cover cooking videos and you know easy recipes at, at home. So yeah, make sure to check it out my channel. And then uh, maybe uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna do some coffee recipe as well. By the way, is anybody tried the, the donut coffee yet? So if you do, let me know in the comment section. So Jane has one quick question. How do you compare Califa Farms to other brands? Okay, so Dane asked me the Califa Farm versus so Califa, the this oat milk versus. So we got Califa here, and I've been using the Oatly and the minor figures of milk. Personal, my personal favorite is the minor figures. They're fantastic. Oli is good. Calafe is my least favorite. Okay. But I mean, they're all good. But is that kind of like your personal choice? But this is the cheapest. Okay. It's on sale right now, right? Mm -hmm. 269. But 269 right now at, at, at Whole Foods. So 269 Because I cannot get it from most grocery stores. They do not carry Bristol version of it. I, only place I can get is Whole Food, two fifty. So price is right. So. Um, Justin asks, can you show us the damage on the lunar scale, or is it not noticeable? Okay, so Justin asking me, 
I drop three times. I know sell drop a couple times before. Okay, so a total of five times there. So uh, let me go give you guys a close look on the damage I caused. Okay, hopefully I can. Hopefully I can show you guys. Okay, okay. right there is one of them. I hit a couple times right there. And the drop right there, hope you guys can see it. Not too bad. And then one, and this little drop, pretty much it, okay? So this one takes abuse. I mean, so dent it a little bit, but everything works because I usually drop to my concrete here, okay? The ceramic tile, so, I mean, it works pretty good. So, comes to durability, they're amazing. Plus water, uh, water resistant, so. Again, I mean, is that worth 250 bucks for that? At home? Uh, maybe not, okay. But, but if you guys want something nice, sure. Are we good? I think it looks like we are good for this morning and then tomorrow morning uh, I'm going to start try some different coffee recipe as well. I know uh, Dane asked us to make some Oceanian coffee and you know different recipes so I mean if you guys have something recipe in mind uh, send me a quick uh, message to me maybe I can fit into my uh, you know uh, coming week video. I know George asked us to make I think George you want to co out macchiata i think that's what four shots so maybe you're gonna try that for you and i hope you guys having a wonderful sunday morning and then see you guys tomorrow